Some of the codes of convention documentaries include sound. Narration of, the narration of a documentary is often male, standard English, and provides an introduction and outlines the exhibition, exposition for the documentary. The narrator also holds items together, provides structure for the narrative. Often, but not always, it's a voice of God narration which gives a sense of authority. There's also non diegetic music which is relevant and links with the theme. There are also sound effects which create a reconstruction for the audience. The camera work of documentaries include establishing shots which provide context and understanding, handheld footage which gives a sense of realism, sometimes there are tripods used which are create static shots which are sometimes used in interviews, creative camera work and actuality footage which is observational as well. The interview setups of a documentary are quite conventional which include a medium close-up or close-up, follow the rules of thirds and no direct address. This means that the interviewee does not look at the camera and just focuses on the person asking questions. Editing. In editing, there are cutaways, which makes it more easy to hide edits during interviews and helps illustrate points. This makes everything visually interesting for the audience. Sometimes there are also just straightforward cuts, which you can easily tell in the interviews. Also, the pace. The pace of a documentary matches the subject and the themes. If the pace is slow, it usually goes with an intense documentary, whilst if it's upbeat and fast, it is with a an upbeat documentary. Fix of a documentary include the name and relevance which is usually seen on an interview so the audience know who the person is and why they are being interviewed. This Sometimes there is an image next to this. There's a title screen which usually is very visually interesting. Subtitles are used to sh explain some points that if the audience cannot understand what the person is saying. Usually the person is speaking a different language. There are also statistics during some of the documentaries and at the end of a documentary there's an end screen which provides information of what's happened at the end. The mise-en-scene is very relevant because some, most of the time it's real people and real locations and the backgrounds of interviews are always relevant. Other mise-en-scene links to themes. This includes lighting and sound. The lighting of, an interv of a documentary is very important. Because if the lighting is dark, then it must be an intense interview. And if it's quite bright, it, it can link to being an upbeat documentary. Iconography is also used during the documentary, as this is a use during themes and genres, and they can link together. This makes things visually interesting for the audience. There's archive footage use, which is, includes pictures and videos of things that were not recorded during the documentary. There's also expert opinions used during the documentary. This is very relevant because sometimes peop the interviewees aren't exactly for what they are doing. And if you get expert opinions, it creates makes everything much more real. Sometimes the camera uses vox pops. This is a voice of people sh shot, and sometimes it's put into a montage.